Welcome back. In this video, we'll explore a key tool for your Arduino projects, the serial.print function. This function is perfect for fixing code issues or seeing what's happening inside your project. It's a function that we'll be using in every single one of our exercises and programs in this series. And that's why I decided to talk about it before introducing any new programming concepts. Serial communication is a way for your Arduino board to talk to your computer. By sending data over the serial port, you can track what your program is doing in real time. This can be particularly useful when you're debugging your code and need to know the values stored in variables or just want to see if certain parts of your code is being executed as you expect and correctly. Before we can use serial.print, we need to set up serial communication. And this is done in the setup function using the command serial.begin and in parentheses a number, which is the board rate. The board rate determines the speed of communication. The board rate in your sketch and the serial monitor must match, otherwise you will get gibberish. Now let's say that we have a sensor connected to our Arduino and we are curious about the data it's reading. With serial.print, we can easily display those readings. The serial.println function prints the sensor value and then moves to a new line, making each reading easy to read. But serial.print isn't just for displaying data. It's also a powerful debugging tool. Say that a part of your code isn't working as expected. By placing serial.print statements at strategic points in your code, you can understand the flow of your program and catch bugs more effectively. A few tips to make the most out of your debugging sessions. Use descriptive text in your print statements. Control the frequency of prints to avoid overwhelming the serial monitor. And always ensure that your serial monitor board rate matches your sketch. Serial.print is a simple yet powerful function that can save you hours of frustration and make your programming journey a bit smoother. And that's it with this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you in the next video.